Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely consider hitting subscribe and the notification bell before you realize how fucking garbage this content is. And if this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back, you absolute glutton for punishment. In either case, thank you very much for being here. I do really appreciate you joining me for this terrible content. For today's video, we're taking a look at some crazy 60 card warrior toolbox deck. I received a message in the last few days that one of the guys who goes to my locals, a guy called Merlin, I won't say his surname in case he doesn't want to be identified, but Merlin went to the LCS online and uh, he managed to get into the top 30 places, I believe. I think 30th might have been his finish, something like that. But anyway, he did really, really well and I wanted to showcase his deck profile for you all. I managed to get some notes off him as well about how the deck works, what the matchups were like and that kind of thing. So I'll be reading that out to you as well. Now, if you're watching today's video and you're feeling inspired and you'd like to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh! singles or even some Pokemon ones for that matter, you should check out the channel sponsors Jam Jam Cards UK. There will be a link in the description to their eBay store. And if you use that link, you'll net yourself a cheeky discount courtesy of yours truly. Now, anyway, enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck in to this spicy deck profile. So before we get started on the profile, let me first apologize if there are any crazy noises in the background. It is dinner time, so the wife is cooking through everything. The dog's going absolutely mental because he hasn't seen us all day and all of that kind of good stuff. So if you do pick up any of that noise in the background, my apologies on that. Now what I'm going to do is do a quick run through of the profile. I won't talk about it in too much detail, but I will cover what Merlin had to say on the deck. As you can see, it's crazy, spicy as all hell, and it's done him really really well so we've got triple copies of blue mountain butter spy we've got a single copy of code breaker zero day i don't even know what this card does we've got triple copies of fire flint lady we've got a goki engine in here we've got a bear hug we've got goki guts we've got headbat thrice we've got iron claw we've got octa stretch we've got wrist scorpio we've got triple copies of suprex we've got triple twist cobra and then we move on to a bit of an infernoble engine uh, so we've got our Infernoble Knight Renaud, we've got Triple Connector in here, we've got Dolphin, we've got Triple Red Layer, we've got a PK Engine in here with Cloak, with Boots, uh, if it ever shows up on the screen for you guys. We've got a UA card in here, UA Libero Spiker, and then we've got the Dragoon package in here as well. We then move on to our spells, we've got Durandal, uh, triple copies of that, we've got Call by the Grave, we've got Phoenix Blade, we've got Foolish Burial, We've got Goku Rematch twice in here. We've got Triple Living Fossil, Monster Reborn, One for One, Red Eyes Fusion, <laughs> Rota, Triple Copies of Triple Tactics Talent. We've got Triple UA Signing Deal. We've got Double Fog Blade and Triple Shade Brigandine. That's absolutely fucking insane. I Honestly, it's just wild. Um, my guess is that it just combos off and goes absolutely nuts. I'm sure there'll be some footage out there, hopefully, of him playing so you can get an idea of how the deck plays. But like I say, again, once we finish this, we'll go over a little bit exactly what, he, uh, what his matchups were, how they went, and all of that stuff. So onto our sideboard here, we've got triple copies of Lancia, triple copies of Droll. We've got triple copies of Forbidden Droplet, triple Lightning Storm, and triple Twin Twisters. Ready for all those back row heavy decks, no doubt about it. And then onto our extra deck here, so we've got a single copy of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, Abyss Dweller, Access Code Talker, Appaloosa, Code Breaker, Virus Berserker, again, no idea what this does. Code Breaker, Virus Swordsman, again, no idea what this does. IP Masquerina, double copies of Isolde. We've got the Nightmare Package in here, Cerberus, Phoenix, Unicorn. We've got Link Karibo. We've got Predaplan, Vert, Anaconda. And then we finish off with Rusty Bardish. So the interesting bit here seems to be the Code Breaker stuff. And this is something that you did touch on. So I'll get to that in just a moment. So I'm going to more or less paraphrase what he sent to me here. So there's not a lot to say about the deck really. Like Infernoble, it can play through hand traps effectively a lot of the time. And it's super consistent. It is worse than decks like Dragon Link going second. But the recovery is insane. He said he didn't expect to do well but the deck, but people were taken off guard by how easily the deck can make Appaloosa and that the Code Breaker stuff even exists. Now on his actual matchups here, so he 2-1 against Drytron, he lost to Prank Kids, uh, he beat Zombie 2-0, he beat Invoked Dogma Shadol 2-1, he lost the game against Invoked Dogma Shadol, uh, that was 1-2, and two. Dragon Link 2-1, Dragon Link again he 2-1 and Invoked Pure he 2-1. 
Now, on those matchups, he mentioned the Prank Kids was difficult because he bricked twice. Other than the first game, the Dragon Link matchup was tough as game one went 30 minutes long and he made a board that he broke and set up his own. But they continued to trade, but due to the Gokis, he outgrinded. Uh, he also only won three dice rolls, so that's testament to how good he's done with this deck. Now, again, I wanted to just bring this absolutely spicy, crazy-ass deck profile to you all. So you can take a look. Maybe you want to try it out yourselves. Who knows? And if Merlin's interested, he can share some more information on this. But a big congratulations to him on the really, really solid finish. Again, he's been doing absolutely excellent. I think it was the year before last he managed to get into the top cut of Nats um, with Salaman Great, I believe, at the time. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to profile him at the time because he dashed off. But he's done well for himself again here with the LCS. Again, a really high competition competition. Uh, <laughs> that's probably the way to put it. Uh, yeah, and again, he's done really, really well with it. So congratulations to you, Merlin, and thank you very much for bringing me the deck profile. And that, my amigos, is all for today's deck profile. Once again, a big congratulations to Merlin on your solid finish. It's just testament to how far he is coming along in this game. He's had a really good couple of years, actually, and I think that if he carries on the way he's going, we're going to see good things from him. Also, a huge thank you to all of you who have made it this far into the video. You are absolute fucking losers and should probably find something better to do with your time. But hopefully, by virtue of the fact that you made it this far into the video, you've liked it enough to have subscribed if you haven't subscribed already, or hit the notification bell if you haven't already, or at least hate it enough that you couldn't possibly look away. But anyway, it's enough waffling on from me. Thank you very much for joining me here, and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.